The question number 4 is from integration. You need to integrate this given function and the total marks is 5 marks. But again, if you read the question properly, they want you to integrate this and write your answer in its simplest form. So after integration, you need to simplify. So how do we integrate this? If we have functions like this, you cannot integrate them separately, the numerator and the denominator separately, which is wrong. You need to uh, apply the laws of indices and simplify this function. So if we rewrite this integral, you divide each term by 2 root x. It will become 4x square upon 2 root of x plus 1 upon 2 root of x dx. So you split them separately and apply the laws of indices. This is x to the power 1 by 2. You bring it to the numerator. So and 4 and 2 can be cancelled. 2 2 so 4. So it becomes 2x square and if you bring this x to the power half to the numerator, it will become x to the power minus half. So when you apply the laws of indices, is if you have 8 to the power m divided by 8 to the power m, you can write it as 8 to the power m minus m. That's your laws of indices. And plus 1 by 2, keep 1 by 2 as it is, only bring this term up, it will become x to the power minus half. And now you can integrate, but uh, we've tidied this up a little bit. So it, it becomes integral 2x to the power 4 minus 1, which is 3 by 2, plus half x to the power minus half dx. Now when you integrate, keep this in mind, two things. The first one is the integration of algebraic function. If you have x to the power n dx, integral x to the power n dx, this will become x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. That's the integration of algebraic function. And most important thing, you need to add plus c. You need to put plus c for every integration without limit. That's an indefinite integral we call it. If you have a limit, then you don't need to add plus c, but which is not in your pure math one. So you need to add plus c whenever you integrate, otherwise it's wrong. So this is the formula we are going to uh, apply here. So x to the power n, the constant 2, keep it as it is. Because when you have a constant in multiplication, you, can, you don't need to integrate the constant. Keep it as it is. x to the power n. When you integrate, it becomes x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1. That's how you integrate. Plus half x to the power n. So x to the power n plus 1 by divided by n plus 1. And plus c, this fella is very important. Plus c, you add plus c. Now it's all about simplification. How do you uh, want to simplify this? When you simplify this, it becomes 5 upon 2. So 2x to the power 5 upon 2 divided by 5 upon 2 plus half. Minus half plus 1 is half. So x to the power half by half. This 0.5 and 0.5 can be cancelled. And don't forget this plus c. That's very important. So that's your result. If you want to tidy up this, tidy this up a little bit, your 2 comes up, so it becomes. 4x to the power 5 by 2 by 5 and plus x to the power half plus c. Because here there is no constant, it's cancelled already. So 4x to the power 5 by 2 by 5 plus x to the power half plus c. That's the integration of uh, this given integrand, this given function. So if you do this properly, you get 5 marks. If you want to score this complete 5 marks, you need to simplify this. You cannot just leave it here. You need to simplify this and write your answer in the most simplified form.